we're going to survey um, for carpal tunnel symptoms as though we got a referral from our doc asking us to examine for carpal tunnel. What we know now is that the typical test that we, that we use, the, the Phelan's test and the Tunnels um, at the wrist for median nerve are really quite poor tests. They, uh, they are not good in terms of sensitivity or specificity. And so the, the classic Phelan's test that most of us learned in school and most of the docs learned and our family practice docs still use looks like this. Okay, and so they will have the client in the office do this uh, and ask if they are experiencing any symptoms. Uh, presumably the numbness and tingling in, in the radial um, digits. And if they do, then they attribute it to pathology at, at the wrist, uh, carpal tunnel. But as you can see, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. We've got elbows at full flexion. Um, we've got this forward posture here, which would be like a, like a postural positional thoracic outlet. You know, this would be putting quite a bit of pressure on the ulnar nerve, and so really not a good test. So if we're going to do a Phelan's test, the better way to do it would be with the elbow almost straight and bring the wrist down. And I usually would do this one hand at a time um, because I'm not just going to say, do you feel numbness and tingling and have my client tell me yes, no. I'm going to have her use the other hand and, and just show me uh, where... Um, if, if at all she feels any symptoms. So, so do one at a time, you do the one side and have the client point and show you if they're feeling symptoms and, and exactly where they might feel numbness or tingling or any other symptoms. Um, then we can do, um, we can do our tenels at the, at the wrist uh, for, for median nerve. Can also do like, a, like an overpressure. One of my docs, orthopedic docs, he liked to, to put pressure right here in the center and he would hold it for like 20 or 30 seconds and kind of looking for the same thing if we would have any uh, numbness or tingling in the, in the radial three, three and a half digits here, okay? Um, then I like to do, I call it a simple sensory test. Uh, and I'm just gonna compare. Now I'm gonna use my, my fingernails and I'm just gonna press into the thumb on each side and then index finger on each side and then just have the client tell me if they could tell a difference, if, if one side felt dull compared to the other one. And I believe you said this side does feel dull compared yes. to this one. The next thing that I would do uh, is check and see if, the, if there's any difference between the, the median inter, innervated digits versus the ulnar. So I would, I would do thumb and small finger and then index finger and this ulnar side here of the ring finger and just see if, if there's a difference between um, you know, right versus left and then uh, median versus ulnar. And then finally, um, you can look, well, not finally, a couple more things. You look for thinner wasting. Uh, I don't really see that very often and really don't remember the last time I saw it, but in really advanced cases of, of pathology to the median nerve, you might see you know, really flattening or wasting here. And so always a good idea if you're testing for you know, distal nerve compression to, to do a strength test. Do your dynamometer, your grip strength testing as well as your pinch testing. Um, so now finally, the, the thing that I would say do, uh, even though we got a referral for carpal tunnel, which you know typically we'd be looking at median nerve, we need to really rule out all the nerve distributions. And so if I'm gonna do my tenels at the wrist, I'm not gonna just do it for median nerve here in the center. I'm gonna do it for ulnar nerve and radial nerve as well. And I'm going to um, survey those nerves in the forearm. So just a, a tenels, kind of a, an inch or so above and below the wrist crease in the middle for median nerve. Can do it over here for ulnar nerve and then on top of the thumb here for the sensory branch of the radial nerve. Then I'm gonna go on up the forearm, gonna kinda of rotate the arm and then you kinda of feel that gap between the muscles and so here you're gonna have pretty good access to the median nerve here in the forearm. Then you can do ulnar nerve all the way down. That ulnar nerve lies right beneath the flexor carpi ulnaris all the way down. And then we can, uh, I would usually palpate more for the radial nerve, um, but you could do tenels through here as well. And then finally you can do your tenels at the funny bone.